Welcome to Tech Cocktail, delivering happiness at South by Southwest. We're on the delivering happiness bus with Rohit Bhargava. Hello. I messed it up again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. It was fine. Okay. Yeah. So, Rohit, can you tell us a little bit about what you do every day and some of the projects you've worked on? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm a, I'm a marketing guy, um, first and foremost. Uh, so, we've crossed paths many times. Um, and uh, basically what I do is I try and help brands figure out a, a better story to tell uh, to their consumers and then how to do that a lot of times through social media or through other channels. So, it's sort of reconnecting with what makes uh, marketing really exciting and, and trying to take that out and actually do real stuff instead of just telling brands you got to tell a better story and then kind of you know giving them a document telling them that and walking away uh, what inspires me uh, I think that that the biggest thing is that I was sort of explaining it I had one of those moments when I was explaining what I do to my six-year-old son and I think that anybody who's a parent sort of has had that moment at some point where it's like what do I where do I go every day and how do I describe that in a way that is impactful for a six-year-old I mean they don't care about documents and statements of work and all that crap and I sort of realized that in my head what I do is I help companies tell better stories and that really is what marketing does and that's what I do and so that's how I explained it to him and it sort of got me thinking that on a top level that's what I try and do I try and help companies organizations and sometimes people tell a better story about themselves. I just uh, saw one of my um, longtime inspirations, which is uh, Guy Kawasaki. He's a really interesting guy because he um, publishes a lot of thought leadership, but he's also just the, he's got this personality that, that draws people um, in and he's always thinking like a marketer. And I can sort of relate to that because everywhere I go, I sort of see marketing. I can't help it. One of the things that I've been talking a lot about is this idea of uh, curating experiences and curation as a as a model for, for how we share what we think about the world with everybody else. I wrote about a, a feature of a travel website called Hipmunk um, called the Agony Filter uh, because I thought it was just so hilarious. It's this idea that you go online and you search for travel options and you get all of these flights that you could take. And some of the flights are like, you know, they have three stopovers and they have like 12 hour layovers in between every flight. And it's like, who the hell would ever take a flight option like that? So what their agony filter does is it filters out all of those flights that would cause extreme amounts of agony. That level of technology kind of filtering out the, the uh, obviously uh, idiotic is what we need. And more technology that focused on that would, would be welcome, I think, for everybody. Anytime you have what you think is a great idea, and other people don't necessarily uh, either understand it or buy into it or think that it's feasible, um, you have a moment of failure, you have a moment of disappointment. And on some level, you sort of expect that because not every idea is going to fly, but when you work in a creative atmosphere um, and in a creative role, it's really easy to let a string of failures turn you into the type of person that doesn't have those ideas anymore there's a thin line between um, being demotivated and um, being uh, somebody who just kind of takes ideas and takes it to the next level because um, you're still challenging and you're still trying to do it and and when you get to that point of demotivation where the default is no it's it's a really hard thing to change mm -hmm.